we've got a big block land shark in a color that's straight out of paradise. Mid-year Corvettes have a lot going for them, with style for miles and power to spare. And this one got me all Twitter-pated by the looks alone, but as in any solid romance, looks are only part of the attraction. Wake up the rowdy 427, and it becomes a full-on obsession. This 66 Corvette Roadster is bathed in Nassau blue, a color named for the warm waters that surround the capital city of the Bahamas. And it's named that for good reason because a drive in this car is a pleasure cruise. Nassau Blue looks dynamite on these cars, and the stark white interior lends to the nautical theme. In fact, the very name Corvette comes from a small, swift warship. And of course, we all know they call these cars Stingrays. But in this case, if you step on one, it's the competition that gets stuck. The L72 427 cubic inch V8 debuted in 1965, and this single four barrel version was good for 425 horsepower, which is enough to boost the confidence of any Corvette pilot. The big block Chevy V8 was in its second year of Corvette production, but 66 was the first year for the 427 version. The first 427 was option code L36, which was good for 390 horsepower, but this one is equipped with the L72 turbojet 427, a hotter 427 inch plant capable of 425 horsepower at 5600 RPM and 460 foot-pounds of torque right out of the box. It thumps with a solid lifter camshaft and came with transistorized ignition to keep that spark lit. Fuel is sucked in through a single holly four barrel carb and the 11 to one squeeze of the forged pistons turns the fire into speed. Nearly one third of all 66 Corvette buyers felt the itch to add an extra $312.85 to the bottom line and drive an L72 off into the sunset and L72 production came to 5,258 cars. The power runs through a four-speed close ratio manual gearbox and a 336 to one pause attraction independent rear suspension. The rumble dumps out the side pipes and the song looks pretty sweet. The driver has a white folding top or a removable hard top for cold weather but we imagine you wouldn't want to drive a summery blue Stingray in the cold unless it was absolutely necessary. These cars don't really make practical year-round daily drivers, but this one does have power steering, tinted glass, and an AM-FM radio. And although these aren't the most comfortable cars on the road, few places are better to see the world than through the windshield of a big block mid-year Corvette. Thanks for taking a cruise with us in this stunning Nassau blue Corvette from the Brothers Collection. If you like this stuff, why not subscribe? It doesn't cost anything, just click the subscribe button on our YouTube channel, or you can follow us on Facebook, and we'll bring you more cool cars like this one from the Brothers Collection on Muscle Car of the Week.